Oh my goodness, that's good coffee. Hey everybody, happy Monday. So sorry I missed you all for free at Friday the, th the other day, three days ago. To be super honest, I had some work stuff going on and I did a script for, for these ID cars that I was planning on setting free, but I really wasn't feeling it. So I said, you know what? If I'm not feeling it, I'm not gonna do the video. So I didn't do it, but you know what? Oh, there goes one of my earphones. If, I, if I'm not feeling it, don't do it. So, you know, I knew I had to set something free this week. I know I missed Friday, but today's a new day and I got something new to show you all that I got in the mail. Let's get right into it. All right, so today, as I said, I'm going to be setting free these, the set that I received in the mail. Basically, for the longest time, I've been looking for the Snake and Mongoose Team Transport set. Have not been able to find it. Um, either I do find it and I, I just don't have the money at the time to purchase it, or people are just asking for a ridiculous amount. But I recently saw this. A good friend of mine saw it on Facebook Marketplace. They sent me the link. The guy was asking for 20 bucks plus shipping, and it worked out to be about $30 Canadian. Normally, people are asking for $80 plus shipping on eBay, so I was like, you know what? I gotta have it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it right now. So that's exactly what I did. For anyone who doesn't know who Snake and Mongoose is, the long story short is that in 1970, Hot Wheels sponsored these two drag race drivers, um, drag racers, and they're kind of like the modern day Lewis Hamilton and, and Max Verstappen for anyone who watches Formula One. And basically they made it up, they made up this fake rivalry and kids and people who were interested in drag racing all around loved watching these two guys race down the strip. Um, it's pretty neat because at the time, you know how, you know how kids these days, they have action figures for their favorite superhero on TV. Back in the day when Hot Wheels first came out, kids would buy snake and mongoose toy sets and they would race their cars down the track but um basically this is the 35th anniversary set i think this came out in 2005 it's got it's in this really nice packaging and it's shaped like a wheel or a rim whichever term you use so on the outside it's kind of like a tire and then when we look it's the top of the rim or well you see the rim there it's a very low profile tire since you don't see any tread and on the back here there's a brief description. Feel free to pause it if you want to read up about it. But um, basically, these two cars were driven by real life people. It was They were both driven by Tom McEwen and Don Prudhomme. So the snake is the yellow one and the mongoose is the red one. Let's take her out. Here it is right here. Let's zoom in. So when we look at these two, the details are impeccable because they are special edition. They do have the spectrate flame or more metallic -y looking paint. And just like the funny cars they were in person, they do flip up so that you can reveal the cockpit. Really good details in there. You can see the steering wheel, the engine, the whole body. And it's like that for both of these. And just like any premium, Hot Wheels release, they do have the rubber tires. I really like when Hot Wheels does the wheel branding or the tires on, or the letters on the tires. So here it says Goodyear. Let's see if I can get these off the base. All right, so now that I got these free, let's take a look here. This is Don Perdome's Snake Drag Racer funny car. It's neat how it opens up like that. Driver goes down in there, steering wheel, nice detailed engine. Um, doesn't have a metal base, was hoping it would, but that's okay. The only thing that disappoints me about these cars is that they don't include the prop rod to hold it up like this because a lot of Hot Wheels cars that are funny cars or drag racers, they do include the prop rod so you can hold them up. So that's a little bit disappointing, but other than that, they've got so many great details in this casting. It's beautiful. Here's Tom McEwen's Mongoose. And, you know, even though the originals didn't have this nice metallic paint, I think one of the nicest features of the car is that they're very period, period correct in the sense that they've got all the decals on them, you know. Um, the most recent release of this car from four or five years ago didn't have many of these sponsorship decals here, like the Coca-Cola one um, and a few other ones of note. But... 
Really nice looking car. Very glad I was able to pick this up. Brian, if you're watching, shout out to you. Wouldn't have been able to buy it if no one alerted me about it. And wow, what a beauty. Look. Wow. All right, so that pretty much concludes the video we have today. And um, just to let you guys know, I am one subscriber away from reaching 100. It would mean the world to me if someone could hit the subscribe button and just bump me up a notch. But other than that, I look forward to seeing you guys on Friday. Just to let you know ahead of time, it won't be the two ID cars that I did show at the beginning of the video, but I do have something. So we'll see you on Friday and have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye for now.